Usually, people who are accused of being divisive are actually decisive. We don't need a massive committee to study the Mexican border again and again and again. We need someone who is decisive. And the reason that Jeb Bush is so angry at Donald Trump is because Donald Trump is saying, look, I'm going to become president. If I become president, I'm going to build a wall and I'm going to have, I'm going to charge the Mexican government to pay for it. See, that's decisive. Yes, it's bold. Maybe some of it is a little bit of uh, hyperbole, but it resonates with people. Watch me. Look at me closely. Do I look bold to you right now? Have you ever seen a bold thinking person? He thought boldly. He pondered with great boldness. You know the thinker? No. Boldness is almost always accompanied by what? Action. Okay? I lived in Florida when Jeb Bush was governor. I saw him bend like a broken reed before a two-bit little judge when his brother, the president, flew in from Florida to sign a bill to save Terry Schiavo's life, when one, one opportunity after another was given to him and he had the, the ambulances around the corner from her hospice, literally idling there. All he had to do was give the order, go pick her up. Didn't have the guts to do it. Didn't have the boldness. Didn't want to be divisive. Let me tell you something, friends. I, 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 I don't like this any more than you do. But I'm going to say it because you and I need to not only be, grasp it, but first, once we grasp it, we have to be willing to say it. We are a divided people. Period. We have people who want to murder babies. And we have people that want to save them and have babies have the full protection of law. There is no common ground. All right? We are divided. And anyone who tells you that there is common ground between those two camps is like, it's like trying to tell you that there's common ground between the Nazis and the Jews. It's absurd, okay? This is somebody who's in a la-la land, in a, in a fairy tale, on the good ship Lollipop, and they need heavy medication, psychotropic medication. I don't mean to be, I don't mean to be that unkind, but it's that, it's that disturbing to me. We have to recognize that we're a divided people. We are divided economically. We have people that say, look, I don't want anything from the government. I don't want anything from the government. I just want to live. I want to be free. I want to give to my charities the way I see fit. And then you have people who say, no, I don't work and you owe me money. You're going to work with the sweat of your brow and not just for yourself, but for me. I have a right to your money. I have a right to your money to pay for my kids' education. I have a right to your money to pay for my kids' uh, doctor bills. I have a right to your money to pay for my doctor bills. That's a divided country. So when Romney made his comment about 47% of the people living off of the government, whatever, whatever the comment was in the percentage, he was right. He was right. And what did he do? Rather than own it and run right at it, he tried to backpedal. And while the liberal, socialist, communist-leaning press were flogging him, we didn't have people to stand behind him and say, he's absolutely right. We're a divided people. You have people who are working and paying the freight, and you have people who either aren't working and are getting the freight, or they're working some, but because our system is so screwed up, they have to go and beg at the knee at Uncle Sam. Military people on food stamps? God forgive us. God rebuke our politicians with their, their vile waste. We are a divided people. We have people that recognize that Islam is a fundamental threat to human freedom. And people who think, oh, it's a religion of peace. This is great. We are a divided people. We have people that believe that there should be racial quotas based upon the color of skin, not on performance, not on intelligence, not on ability. We are a divided people. We have people who actually believe that the covenant, the sacrament of marriage ordained by God himself, created by the almighty creator of the universe, that that sacrament could be degenerated to the level of a perversion between two people of the same gender. We are a divided people. We have to see it. 
And then we have to have the boldness to say it. The emperor is naked. And if that divides us, so be it. He's flabby, he's ugly, and he's an embarrassment.